Hello, and welcome back to Diatonic Dissection, where we crack open music to see what makes it tick. In this video, we'll be looking at Cinnabar Island from the Pokemon Blue Red soundtrack, composed by Junichi Masuda. This is the music that plays when you're on the titular island, home of the Pokemon Mansion and the miraculously not yet burned down by accident Fire Gym, headed up by the mad scientist looking Blaine. Mandatory YouTube stuff. Comment, like, subscribe, click the bell, etc. to try and entice the algorithm gods to smile upon us. If you want the tabs slash sheet music from this video, as well as all prior ones and future ones, as long as you stay subscribed, head on over to the Diatonic Dissection Patreon, patreon.com slash diatonic dissection. It's just two dollars a month, and the longer you remain subscribed, the more value you get for your money. Now, for gear, I'm still filming at my parents' place, so the guitar is an Ibanez RGD MS8 8-string, with white pickups to ruin the colour color keying, a Dingwall NG3 Combustion 6-string bass, a Korg Cross 2 keyboard for the keyboard parts, um, effects come from a neural DSP quad cortex and it's all recorded in Reaper. General information about the track, the tempo is 130 BPM and the key is D major. As always, we'll start with the chords and then drill down into the individual parts. The chords for section A that consist of two chords, G and E minor over G. You'll see in the clip that only one note moves to form the other chord, so your left hand can rest easy. There isn't very much to say about the main melody for section A, there are no string skips, no accidentals, but keep an eye out for staccato notes as they help give the melody its character. Unlike the main melody, there are plenty of things to keep an eye out for in the counterpoint. Accidentals, leaps and staccato notes, particularly in bar race where you have some quick staccato notes. The bass part is the same for all of section A with the exception of bar rate where it is slightly different. Like the counterpoint, keep an eye out for the staccato notes. Thankfully, the chords in section B show some variety even though it is very short. The chords keep ascending from the third up and then back down to the root. The main melody for section B is, like the chords, much simpler than section A. No accidentals and no string skips, so enjoy. The counterpoint is very simple, not much to say. For the bass, keep an eye out for the staccato notes, but apart from that, very simple. And that's it, another short video where we've managed to stretch a 30 second piece of music into several minutes of analysis. As always, leave a like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, evade taxes in the name of the algorithm gods to gain their favour. If you want the sheet music for this, then sign up over on the Diatonic Dissection Patreon, patreon.com slash diatonic dissection. It's just $2 a month, and you get access to everything I have done so far. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it interesting slash entertaining, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!